Hi friends, in our last session we have studied related to foundation of industrial internet of things and what is cyber physical system. Also we have seen certain examples related to cyber physical system. In today's session we are going to see application maps for cyber physical system. This is Fazan Kalti and I welcome you all to our lecture series of industrial internet of things. In that our chapter one is understanding industrial internet of things. So let's begin with our next topic of this chapter. So the topic is application map for industrial cyber physical system. Now the components of this uh, are industrial smart services, industrial smart data, what is smart factory and smart product. So now starting from a smart factory we can say that when a physical production process or operation is combined with a digital technology along with that smart computing and big data so it is going to create a more opportunistic environment for that particular company which means basically the traditional manufacturing process when combined with the internet so that factory will be considered as a smart factory now basically the framework for a smart factory is that uh, whatever uh, the information from a device is given to the sensor we know the uh, levels of uh, automation pyramid yes right so from that we can say that uh, a sensor is going to take information from a device uh, from the sensor that information is given to the next level that is PLC programmable logic controller from that it is given to what so supervisory data acquisition right that is SCADA right so it is going to acquire all the data and from a SCADA the data of that uh, particular product will be stored in a cloud right from that uh, from will be stored in a cloud and from that cloud we can easily access the uh, required data of that particular company right so that uh, that is called a smart fact you know the question comes that what is a smart data and what are the process involved to obtain a smart data now what is that so we can say that uh, large number of sensors and the amount of data collected by them in a smart factory requires a special industrial data warehousing solution right which means that whenever a company install a cyber physical system within their production and surrounding application field a connected ad adequate data storing solution is must it is essential okay now next is a process engineering for industrial data analysis now what is that so we can say that a continuously inflowing and the stored data needs to be processed and interpreted right now the continuous development and advancement of algorithm to process the data to obtain a most valuable information is the main task okay which means process engineering for industrial data analysis has a main task to filter out and to obtain the most important data first remember first is uh, we need to store data which means the industrial data warehousing is required second task is process engineering for industrial data analysis is important to filter out and to obtain the most important data later on we can use this algorithm in order to perform industrial data analysis which means the process of industrial data analysis can be summarized by the term big data is converted into a smart data now next as you can see on your screen it is written industrial data enrichment now what is that so in certain cases information resulting from the industrial data analysis remember whatever information we get from an industrial data analysis is not meaningful enough on its own which means the data uh, available with the company is there but in many cases it is not sufficient enough so we need to use some external source data we need, we need to use some external source to obtain some particular data related to that product so in order to fill that gap industrial data enrichment needs to be applied very clear right so so depending on the task to be fulfilled and the availability of a data within the company remember external data sources are identified and added to the data base now this external uh, data could be of any nature it could be a, a economic nature a political forecast or a market analysis right so this data uh, will be added and feed into a company database okay now next as you can see it is written we need also digitization now what is that so most of the data which is available with the company is in a form of hard copies right file based system if you remember so it is required to digitize that data which means the process of digitization goes beyond 
the pure activity of transforming information from an analog into a digital task now let us see that what comes under industrial smart services so you can clearly see that under that there is a business model development employee qualification required knowledge management industrial service system and maintenance so now let us understand the, all the parts of this smart services so we can say the information and uh, conclusion which is gained from industrial smart data do not directly re-enter the production process but it forms a foundation okay for a broad range of industrial smart services now we can say that there are several services which are in-house in-house services that is company itself services okay supporting the own value creation process or a service offered to the external customer now these services could be a qualification courses so the application of this cyber physical system is associated with the opportunity for developing or en enhancing the existing business model or we can directly generate a totally new business model uh, basically we we take a feedback from a customer and even after doing a, a retrospective uh, after producing a particular product we uh, we get an idea that what are the limitations and how we can fulfill that for that it is obvious that we need to create a new business model so in that sense we can say that employee qualification is the most important requirement in functioning of integration of users in a cps that is cyber physical now the next term is knowledge management system so we can say that the main objective of a knowledge management system is that it is required to gather knowledge of its own employee of its own worker now the question comes why we need to do that so the knowledge of a staff becomes a another data for the application field of industrial data enrichment and the next one, and the last term is a maintenance so we can say maintenance aims to assure availability of a production capabilities so all this comes under a smart services that is industrial smart services so we have discussed industrial smart data industrial smart services and even we have discussed that what is a smart factory now what comes under the smart factory so as you can see on your screen it includes assembly line research and development uh, department then logistic department that is a storage department then production department distribution department resource management and quality inspection department that is quality management okay so these are all the parts which comes under a smart factory now let us see that what is smart product so whatever is the result which is obtained by using a smart data smart services within a smart factory will definitely result to obtain a smart product and again in that it is a continuous process of optimizing visualizing the defect and modifying as per the customer requirements to achieve the most feasible and optimal product and that is considered to be the smart product so what includes in a, what comes under the smart product so we can say it is a system integration functionality product in use and modularity now system integration includes a communication interface for registration to and interaction with the smart environments ubiquitous computing which means an extensive compute functionality includes an identifiable situated proactive adaptive contact aware and real time capability whereas product in use includes an adaptation to a user behavior and preferences now on the bottom side you can see product related smart services is provided and product related smart data is provided now what is that so within the product related smart services it is basically an after sales support right whenever you sell a smart product for example a ac or a television or a a machine and whatever problem it uh, comes under that category or a product so a company can directly access that particular product uh, through a wi-fi or by making use of an internet uh, and connecting it to its own server and rectify or troubleshoot that product right even we can do by ourselves by installing a company's app which is provided so again all the smart products will definitely be wi-fi enabled right so it is a return that it is going to provide after sale support uh, such as software updates live support then app stores are provide uh, app applications are provided on a app store then consumer ser service systems right and what is in the product related smart data so we have already discussed in that data analysis process engineering for data analysis in that we use an algorithm development right then data warehousing that is a data storage data enrichment integration of a data from other contexts and cyber security again all the data is required to be secured so we are going to use a third party software to provide a protection to our data 
uh, from hacking right hackers are already present and they can definitely steal our data so cyber security is the most important part of a smart data Thank you.